We begun with the legend of a distant planet called Gunnamede, where a grim fortress known as the Gungeon stood strong until one day the Great Bullet, a deadly force, was mysteriously summoned, parting the heavens and crashing into the keep. Though brought to ruin, the ashes of that place hold an artifact of impossible power, the gun that can kill the past, capable of allowing anyone it shoots to relive the decisive moment of their life that they regret most and make a different choice, changing their past, resulting in a different present. Over time, the Gungeon was rebuilt, and some who hear the legend decide to risk everything for another shot at making things right by entering the Gungeon and seeking to claim the gun. Known as Gungeoneers, these unlikely heroes are each burdened by a deep regret, filled with equal parts of courage and desperation, and won't hesitate to risk everything to undo what was done. The Marine, a guard who was stationed at a facility called Primordyne R&D, when an experiment went awry, unleashing an interdimensional horror, chose to flee in an escape pod after his gun jammed, abandoning the scientists and his fellow guardsmen aboard the station to their doom. The pilots, a space smuggler who was found holding cargo owned by the Imperial Hegemony of Man, the dominant force in certain regions of space, and when confronted by the HM Absolution, a hegemony battleship, he was ordered to power down his ship systems and surrender, but instead escaped, leaving his friend Z behind, who was then captured. The convict, formerly known as Laser Lily, was the head of a criminal organization, who bribed Black Stash, a Gemini official, to overlook her crimes, but he betrayed her, conducting a sting operation on her nightclub-turned headquarters, Confession, where she was captured by Gemini forces prior to escaping and choosing to face the Gungeon instead of life imprisonment. The Hunter is a woman who traveled to Black Sword Manor, serving as the headquarters of the Black Sword organization, which conducted twisted experiments to recover a relic from Dr. Wolfenclaw one of their scientists, but was captured by him and stored in a cryogenic pod for 1147 years, eventually escaping and venturing to the Gungeon. The cultist is a child whose purpose in coming to the Gungeon was originally to ensure that their sibling took the blame for spilling grape juice on their family's couch, but after being treated poorly by the Gungeon's inhabitants, has decided to instead become the number one hero by defeating the other Gungeoneers. Finding themselves in the Breach, the Gungeon's entrance hall, also containing the Hall of Knowledge, Elevator Room, and Shops, all run by friendly allies who assist the Gungeoneers on their journey, they venture into the chambers of the Gungeon below. First journeying through the Keep of the Lead Lord, then the Gungeon proper, followed by the Black Powder Mine, and into the Hollow, they fight their way through the Cult of the Gun Dead, disciples of the Gun who will stop at nothing to kill the Gungeoneers in defense of their temple, including especially powerful members guarding each floor's exit. Upon dying, the Gungeoneers discover that they're magically revived and transported back to the Breach, and that they're also unable to exit the Gungeon due to mysterious power, and are therefore currently trapped in an endless cycle of forced dungeon exploration. Eventually making it to the fifth chamber, the Forge, the Gungeoneers meet the Blacksmith, who reveals the origins of the Gungeon, describing the Gunslinger, a legendary gunplay expert who replaced his eyes with enchanted bullets, and was so named by his foes not because of his ability to aim and shoot, but due to his unusual habit of literally slinging his gun when out of ammo instead of reloading it, simply proceeding to replace it with another from his magical belt of a million guns. He was also a powerful wizard, who combined his two interests of guns and magic by conducting arcane experiments in which he infused magic into the firearms. Fearing that guns would one day render the magics of the old world obsolete, replacing them entirely, he retreated to Gunnamede and constructed the Gungeon, with the goal of harmoniously combining the two through his work so that neither would be lost. Beneath the Gungeon, he created a mine to extract black powder from Gunnamede's depths for his experiments, which the cult's bulletkin foot soldiers continue to mine, and he also hired the blacksmith to create more guns for him to enchant. Eventually, he succeeded in creating the gun that can kill the past, a process which unintentionally summoned the Great Bullet, heavily damaging the Gungeon, and creating the gun dead who roam its halls, including the death of the Gunslinger and his subsequent transformation into the Lich, who still rules over the Gungeon from Bullet Hell, the even deeper sixth chamber which he was banished to, with his now evil aura being the force responsible for the Gungeoneer's entrapment. The blacksmith then explains that in order to successfully use the gun, the Gungeoneers must bring her the materials to forge the bullet that can kill the past. The Prime Primer, from one of the first Gun Dead created, Arcane Gunpowder, mined from Gunnamede, Planar Lead, an Astral Slug which was part of the Great Bullet, and an Obsidian Shell Casing, carved from a fang of the High Dragon, who guards the gun. After revisiting the Gungeon's chambers and acquiring the first three components, the Gungeoneers confront the Dragon, awakening it from its slumber beneath a massive pile of bullet casings, battling it, and defeating it, afterwards smashing its skull to obtain the fourth and final component. Returning to the blacksmith and providing these materials, she forges several copies of the bullet, and the Gungeoneers proceed past the dragon's remains into the aimless void, where they open a large chest containing the gun, before proceeding to load it with the bullet and shoot themselves with it, sending them back in time to a crucial moment of their pasts. The cultist arrives back at the moment when they first met the other Gungeoneers in the breach, challenges them to a duel to the death, and wins, declaring themselves the hero. 
The Marines transported back to Primerdine R&D before he left for the escape pod, and this time chooses to stay, fight, and slay the interdimensional horror, saving all his fellow soldiers who honor him as a hero. The Hunter's translocated back to Blacksword Manor, where she again faces Dr. Wolvenclaw, but is now able to defeat him and his monster, owing to the technology and experience acquired in the Gungeon, afterward escaping instead of being forced into a cryopod. The convict is brought back to her nightclub office just before Black Sash and his hegemony goons arrive to arrest her, again forcing her to fight them, but she changes her past by emerging from the fight victorious and departing on her own. The pilot returns to his spaceship, in the moment before he abandons Z, deciding to stay and fight the HM Absolution to protect him, despite the overwhelming odds, and is successful in destroying it. Despite changing their paths, which were the cause of the Gungeoneers entering the Gungeon in the first place, they still find themselves trapped within, and unable to escape, due to the Lich's powerful dark magic, which has created a time anomaly in and around the Gungeon. Continuing their exploration, now with the goal of defeating the Lich and freeing themselves, they encounter another anomalistic Gungeoneer, the Bullet, who wielded the gun sword known as Blasphemy, and was killed by another evil force within the Gungeon that attempted to conquer it, Cannon, a mysterious pig demon who was served by Agunim, a charismatic sorcerer. After shooting itself with the gun, it successfully returns to its past within the Gungeon, where it's able to defeat both Agunim and Cannon by thrusting Blasphemy into Cannon's head. The group also finds the Robot, an honored member of the Killbot army, who was commanded by its master, EMP-R0R to kill the leader of the human resistance group, but it broke protocol, failing to eliminate humanity and resulting in its own destruction. Upon firing the gun at itself, it's placed back within the Emperor's arena, where it follows protocol, fighting and eliminating the last human. As the Gungeoneers continue traversing the chambers, they discover a cosmic rift, a manifestation of the magical time anomaly, which imbues them with a paradox effect, and upon returning to the aimless void, they're pulled down into bullet hell by the Lich. Fighting their way through his legions of powerful cult members, the group arrives at the Lich's lair, where after a fierce battle, they manage to defeat him, shooting him with a gun, causing the Paradox effect to transform into a sentient Gungeoneer, the Paradox, an amalgamation of all the other Gungeoneers, resulting in it, and the rest of the group, being sent back to the Breach, while the Lich is revived. The Paradox then ventures through the Gungeon alone, returning to the Lich's lair, where it fights and defeats him, again shooting him with the gun, resulting in another anomalistic manifestation the Gunslinger himself, pre-mortem, before he became the Lich, who appears in the first chamber of the Gungeon. Slinging his way through the subsequent chambers, the Gunslinger arrives at the Forge, meeting with the Blacksmith, who gladly provides him with another copy of the bullet, realizing that he intends to finally free everyone from the Gungeon's confinement. He loads the gun and shoots himself with it, returning him to an anomalistic point in time between his own past and the Lich's, within Bullet Hell, before the Lich gained his full power. However, upon confronting the Lich, the Gunslinger is met simultaneously by both the Lich's original form and his more powerful, paradoxical form. After an aggressive fight, the Gunslinger manages to defeat both Liches, taking him back to the moment before he created the gun, which summoned the Great Bullet, damaged the Gungeon, turned him into the Lich, and imprisoned everyone inside, allowing him to decide not to create the gun, preventing all the events that followed from being set in motion. <laughs>